Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Alexandra here. Today I'm going to be doing a Project Pan update for you guys. I am filming this a little bit early. It's the 23rd of June, so the next update in two months will be an extra week's worth of progress. Um, side note, what do you guys think about like my natural curly um, bang situation? Um, I think it's cute. It looks like it's straight out of 1983. Um, I like it. It's kind of wild, kind of fun. Let me know what you think. I'm going to just start off with the item that I have lost in the last month. I have no idea where it is. It's probably in my packed item somewhere. Um, I did have it at the, at the Airbnb last month and I don't know where it is now. And that is my Urban Decay All-Nighter all Setting Spray. So I haven't used it in the last month. I don't know where it is, which is really annoying because it's my favorite setting spray. If I find it, I will let you know. And if I don't find it within like the next two months, I may just like roll it out and like put something else in its place because it's kind of like wasting a spot essentially. Um, yeah, so that's a bummer. I do have one rollout also. Uh, we'll talk about that last, keep you waiting. So the first item I wanna talk about is a shadow from my uh, 39L Hit The Lights palette by Morphe. I have been working on like a highlighter shade. It's this one right here. Still no pen. That was the original goal. Um, I am kind of like wearing it down. There is like a dip in it. Um, it's okay. It's not my favorite formula. Yeah. Um, I will say though that I have been like playing with this palette as a whole over the last month, um, two months kind of a little bit. So that's been fun because I really did want to get more use out of this palette. Um, I've dipped into this black, I've dipped into this brown, I've dipped into this kind of color, this nudie color, I've dipped into the yellow. So, and I think I dipped into one of the golds, I don't remember, but that's fun. So I've been playing with that, but still no pan. Another long haul product. This is my Rose Jam Body Spray by Lush. You can't really tell what's going on here. I can't see through it if you can hear it. I definitely think that this is below halfway now, which is great because the year is essentially halfway over. So I'm still working on this. I wear this like 20 to 25 times a month. I don't spray it a whole lot, maybe two or three sprays. It is quite strong, um, but I do like the scent. So there's that. I think I actually have two rollouts now that I'm looking at everything. So um, I just jumped up to get a replacement product because um, I did not know that I, I didn't realize that I had two until looking at everything. So I have two rollouts this time. So that's pretty exciting. Next product that I can't tell what's going on with prog progress either is my TimeWise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation by Mary Kay. I think this is the new packaging because I can't see through it even when I shine it up to a light. Um, and the old packaging you could, but I will say that this is probably at least halfway um, through. It feels quite light compared to where it was at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year it was like, I think brand new. I don't use this a ton. I probably use this maybe like 10 times a month, if that. So, um, but I'm still enjoying it. So I think I will have no problem getting through it by the end of the year. This is my Mary Kay um, Gel Pot um, Eyeliner in black. Uh, you can't really see much progress. This is going to be a super, super slow product. I would just like to hit pan or jar on this product by the end of the year, which is probably not going to happen. Um, I don't use a ton of eyeliner and um, there's a lot here. So I am like focusing on like making it flat all the way across. So that's going to take even longer, um, but I'm enjoying it. So that's the main thing. my MAC paint pot in soft ochre and I've had this for quite a few years it has begun to separate from the sides again I just want to get used on this and like hit the bottom of the jar if possible but no jar yet and um it's super super deep the dip but um we'll see how long that's going to take me again this is a product that I'm probably only using like 10 times a month you don't use a lot um so it'll probably take me forever and ever
I have made some good progress on this the past couple of months. This is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick and I'm Nude. I did pan the full size of this a few years ago. Um, you can see all the windowing happening on this sucker. Um, I want to take the stopper out. I haven't begun. To, I haven't done that yet. I'm thinking maybe like at some point in the next couple of months I'll pull the stopper out. They do get incredibly dry when you do that, so just be careful. Um, I have added some incline Duraline drops to this a few times because it has already begun to dry out. I find these minis dry out super fast anyways, so I've been reluctant to pull the stopper out until I know I'm going to be using it like every day for a week or two, and then I'm hopefully going to be able to finish it. I don't know if I'll finish it the next update, but I think I will pull out the stopper, like I said, in the next couple of months. This product I thought I was going to be like further along on by this point in the project. This is my Tarte uh, Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess, but I have hit pan on it, so there's hope yet. I have two spots of pan now, as you can see. Um took me a really long time to hit pan on this and I do believe like I do feel like I use a ton of bronzer when I do bronze um because I don't wear a blush I just apply more bronzer now that I do have pan on it I think I will be able to get lots of more progress sooner than not so we'll see on that I'm hoping that there'll be a lot more to show you for the next update in two months And now for my rollouts. I have two, and they're two lip products, which is pretty exciting because lip products are difficult to use. The first one is my Lip Sense in Cappuccino. It's dry and like super crusty. Um, you can see my lines, they were over here. Maybe you can't see them, they've pretty much worn off. I have panned this before, and now this is my second one that I've used. I will probably repurchase it at some point. I don't know, but not right now. And full size lip product out of my collection. To replace the Cappuccino Lip Sense, I am going to put another lip product. It's another Lip Sense. It's um, in Sugar Plum. It's sort of a similar shade, just a bit more like pinky red instead of nude. Um, it's a nice shade. I have had this for a few years. You can't really see. I have not marked it yet, but it's probably only a quarter of the way used up. I'm not going to complete this this year. I know that, but I just want to like get some more use on it. So in hopes to be able to pan it next year, I'm thinking ahead here, guys. That's where I'm at, but um, I do really enjoy this shade. So let's see how much use I can get on it. Next lip product is actually a gloss by Sengence. This is my Lip Sense Gloss in Pom Pom. It was like a sheer kind of pinky color. Um, I did really enjoy it. I've pulled out the stopper in this and I got as much product as I could out of the um, container or tube, I should say. And I really enjoyed it. I did think it was kind of like the formula was starting to change on it, but this is super old, so I'm not shocked. Um, but yeah, she done and super excited. The next product is one that was in my project pan a couple of years ago. Didn't pan it, but... Um, I got lots of pan on it in that year and I didn't really work on it a ton last year, more than I thought I would um, during the summer months, but I am putting it in my project this year. This is my Ofra highlighter in Sea Shimmer. I originally did not enjoy this product. I thought it was like not a great shade for me um, and it is a bit dark, but during the summer when I get like half a shade darker, I can use it. So there's not a lot of product there, but it is still quite thick around the edges. I'm not going to repress this, I don't think. Um, I don't want to. I can still get at it pretty well with my brush. I am wearing it today. It's a super pretty shade. Um, I'm hoping to complete this by the end of the summer. So that is some big, big goals. Um, I'll probably get a lot of use out of this in July, August, and maybe into September is when I can like wear it, I feel. Um, so I'm hoping during those three months I can get this one used up because it would be great to use a full size highlighter of this year. So that is my quick little update for my project pan. Um, these are products that were favorites. I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. Um, so these are products that I would pull for or enjoy pulling for more so they would be easier for me to use. Um, I love all these products and um, I also do my updates every two months on the channel for my project pan. So my next update will be at the end of August, beginning of September. If you guys are doing a project pan, let me know. And thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.